Let's join him. And they're off. A slow start, an awkward start for Emily Upjohn. And Frankie de Torre trails the field in the first furlong. Going forward is Tranquil Lady with the moonlight and thoughts of June, the grey filly. Moon de Vega is close up in fourth, followed by Rogue Millennium. Concert Hall is back in about sixth place a little keenly from Nashua. Emily Upjohn recovering on the outside of Coweda as they continue their journey up the hill. The Algarve is at the back of the field. Probably second last is Tuesday in the dark blue jacket, but racing across to the inside running rail now. Thoughts of June on the outside of With the Moonlight. Thoughts of June and Wayne Lorden with the midnight, with the moonlight. William Buick now just, just slotting into second, taken to the outside. Tra Tranquil Lady is close up in third, then Moon de Vega, Rogue Millennium. Concert Hall behind these from Coweda, and then on the inside, green jacketed Nashua. Emily Upjohn is still well back with Tuesday on her inside, and finally the Algarve continuing to climb now as they head towards the final seven furlongs in this Phillies Classic. And it's Thoughts of June that takes them along from With the Moonlight on the outside of Tranquil Lady. Back in fourth is Moon de Vega. Rogue de Millennium on the inside in fifth place. Followed then back in the field to Concert Hall in the purple and white. Nashua, Coweda, and then Tuesday, Emily Upjohn and the Algarve. On the tumble down now towards Tattenham Corner as they race for the final six furlongs. And up front still Thoughts of June from With the Moonlight in second place. On the inside, Tranquil Lady, followed by Moon de Vega, Rogue Millennium, then Concert Hall, Nashua just hunting them up, followed by Coweda, then Tuesday, Emily Upjohn and the Algarve as they now round Tattenham Corner. And Thoughts of June by a length and a half is going to lead them into the home straight here on Epsom Downs, followed by With the Moonlight in second, Tranquil Lady is third, Moon de Vega, Rogue Millennium, all with big chances, Concert Hall, Nashua in behind, them. Then Tuesday in the dark blue jacket. Coming very wide is Emily up. John the favourite beginning her run on the extreme left followed by Coweda. An open looking race Tuesday coming through on the right. Down the centre Rogue Millennium. Coming through is Nashua. On the left is Emily up. John. They head towards the final furlong. Tuesday leads the way. Emily up. John now storming home down the near side under Frankie de Torre after a very bad start. Tuesday from Emily up. John. Then Nashua back in third. Inside the Final 100, Tuesday, Emily Upjohn getting close. It's tight, Tuesday. Tuesday has probably just won it. Emily Upjohn on the near side. It got very close indeed. Nashua back in third. Kawida and Tranquil Lady fighting it out for fourth. Well, you have to say, Sean, Emily Upjohn has got no right to be that close to minding after that start. If Emily Upjohn's won that, incredible. But on the replay, cool, that is close. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's incredibly close. <laughs> I'm looking at a slow-mo of them passing the line. I get the feeling that Tuesday's nose is down where it matters. Mm.